And uh, of course, this evening, the opening night film is Annette, the first film in English by French filmmaker Leos Carax. Uh, and it is uh, a story that was written uh, by uh, the two brothers who have been performing for decades as the duo Sparks. I'm told it's almost entirely sung. They also wrote the script, and it stars Adam Driver and Marion Cotillard, both of whom can really sing. Uh, France 24 got to talk to Adam Driver yesterday, and here's what he had to say. It feels, uh, it feels great, you know, um, this festival has always been, you know, uh, my favorite one and even before I came here, I looked to it as the, you know, the place where great movies are, so um, to be the opening film with this one in particular, with one that was took seven years of us kind of putting it together. It, 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 I have, I have, clearly, I haven't thought about it <laughs> and what it means. I'm just kind of going with it. How did the show go? I killed them, destroyed them, murdered them. Good boy. On your kick? I. I saved them. Mm -hmm. Oh, you die so magnificently. Honey, you're always dying. Uh, Henry! <laughs> A little clip of uh, Adam Driver there in Annette. Uh, let's go back to Lisa Nathelson at Cannes. Lisa, uh, Jodie Foster will be honoured at the opening ceremony tonight. Now, she and Cannes go quite far back, don't they? Tell us more. You can say that again. She was here when she was 12 years old. I believe she's now 58. And that's because she played, you may recall, a child prostitute in Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver, written by Paul Schrader, starring Robert De Niro. And uh, that film that year won the Palme d'Or, the highest award. Uh, in the, uh, ever since, uh, she has become not only an incredibly accomplished actress, but also a filmmaker in her own right. And she came to Cannes with uh, two of her movies, The Beaver, which was terrific, starring uh, Mel Gibson, and more recently, Money Monster, starring George Clooney. Um, it's relatively well known that she is not only a Francophile, but went to a French high school and uh, speaks absolutely perfect French. So uh, obviously, she's very admired here, but uh, people can also always understand exactly what she's saying. All right, Lisa Nettleson, lots to look forward to uh, then this evening. Thanks so much indeed for giving us a little of the atmosphere from where you are uh, at Cannes.